Good morning, everyone. Here is a Vickers DBM-03 three-axis servo drive. Now, I've only got one motor. And if I power up this drive with any of these, let me lean this forward there. If I power up this drive with any of these feedback uh, inputs disconnected, this drive will come up in alarms. It will come up with an over temperature alarm and a resolver feedback alarm. Well, let's get closer and I'll show you how this comes up without any feedback connected to the drive. Here are the LEDs on the front of the Vickers 3-axis servo drive. Now here is over temp axis 1, over temp axis 2, over temp axis 3, resolver feedback 1, resolver feedback 2, resolver feedback 3, there's watchdog, and drive fault. Over here, this LED is drive over temp. And then we have three axis short circuit indicators. Axis one, short circuit. Axis two, short circuit. Axis three, short circuit. I'm going to apply 220 volts AC three phase to the Vickers bus power supply. And we'll see how these LEDs turn on without feedback connected. Look at this. We have over temp one, two, and three. Axis one, two, and three are on. And resolver feedback one, two, and three are on. And drive fault. Now this is with no feedback connected to J4, J5, or J6. Now I've only got one motor. How am I going to clear these other faults if I only have one motor? I'll show you. <laughs> This is a neat little trick you can put in your toolbox. Here's my UVW connector that we'll connect to one axis at a time. And here is the secret to clear those alarms. I have three feedback connectors going to the drive and they're all tied together. So pin one to pin one to pin one. And I have socket pins to connect to the feedback connector because we don't have this connector. So when I connect one resolver to the three axes, we'll clear those alarms and we'll be able to run this motor. Let's go hook it up. We're connecting one resolver and one thermal to the three inputs J4M1, J5M2, J6M3. Now, let me hook U, V, and W. to the motor connector, J9, here's U, V, and W, this will allow us to enable and run that motor. Now let's see how it powers up. We'll move this out of the way so you can see the LEDs. All right, no alarms. Look at that. The only LED on is power OK. Or power down. We will connect. Our enable circuits. We have a ref enable and a drive enable. 
There's three drive enables and one ref enable. Now let's power up again. What we do is this terminal right here is plus 15 volts DC and we allow, we 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 switch that to ref enable. Okay. And now we're going to turn that axis on. And we're moving. <laughs> okay. That's axis one. I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see that motor running. Switch direction. It's my speed and direction pot right here. Now we're moving clockwise. Let's go counterclockwise. Now we have two more axes to run. What I'll do is I'll power down and move from axis one to axis two on the motor connector. And we'll run it again. Let's stop the drive. Turn the line voltage off. Now we'll move from axis one to axis two. That's what you gotta do when you ain't got the connectors. <laughs> okay, go power up again. No alarm LEDs on. Applying plus 15 volts DC to rev enable. And here, applying plus 15 volts DC to drive enable two. Axis two is running. Back the other way. Now we'll go to axis three. The drive. Remove ref. Enable. Power down. This is the last axis. View. V. And O. Applying 223 phase to the bus power supply to power up the drive. No alarms. Here's ref enable with plus 15 volts DC. Here's drive enable three. Axis three runs. That's one motor testing the Vickers DBM-03 three-axis servo drive. One cable <laughs> going to three feedback inputs. That's how you do it.
how you do it. One motor and three actions. all if you ever need to that's how you do it <laughs> okay I hope y'all's having a good day we're doing all right here we're doing okay have a good day folks we'll see you next time